In this episode, we'll be walking through an actual rental. So someone calls in and says, Hey, my name is Mike, and I'd like to rent this item from you. First, we'll do a quick search to see if he is in the system. Since he isn't, we'll need to add him. Alternatively, if he had come to the store in person, we could have simply scanned his driver's license. At a minimum, we will probably want to fill in Mike's name, email, phone number, address, and company info. We can also use the advanced mode to add comments, enter additional information, and even add a discount that will automatically be applied to all of Mike's future transactions. Next, we'll begin filling out rental information, like how long Mike wants the item and when and where to deliver it. He may even say he wants the item delivered to one location and picked up from another. Now we need to actually add the item. We have two options, search for it manually or scan the item's barcode. You can also add any custom terms or special requests here. With the item added, we want to go ahead and turn this quote into a reservation by clicking on Reservation and taking a payment. Mike says that he'll pay the full amount by credit card. The system will securely save the number so you can always charge him again later if he doesn't return your item. After accepting his payment, we can opt to email the reservation to Mike by clicking here. Lastly, we'll take a look at the pick list, which is what you give to your employees to expedite any prep work that needs to be done so we'll have the item ready when Mike arrives to pick it up. 